Good morning. It's Friday and the end of Shark Week. So today we are going to read Nugget and Fang Friends Forever or Shark Time by Tammy Sawyer. This is a 2.3 reading level and the illustrations are adorable on this book. Here's the title page. Me, you, we rule. Beautiful illustrations. In the deep, deep ocean live two best friends, Nugget and Fang. They did everything together. They swam over, glug. They swam under, glug, glug. They swam all around, glug, glug, glug. Life was close to perfect until it was time for Nugget to go to school. Minnows, welcome to a brand new year. Wow, look at that cool school. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is about three little minnows and a big bad shark. A big bad shark? Ha, said Nugget, impossible. Nugget was busy with math. Two, one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four. But what if there were 10 minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows would be left? Is this a trick question? A shark could never do that, said Minnow. And Nugget was busy with science. Sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Marine food chain, sharks, everything else. The stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. You, have you lost your gills? Hello, sharks eat minnows? Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Nugget was shocked and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained it all to Fang. Sharks are toothy. Sharks are scary. Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fang. It's true, see, said Nugget. He held up his test, then he swam far, far away. Fang's heart sank. There's nothing he could do about being toothy, but he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, many minnows had a surprise visitor, a very big surprise visitor. The visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. Shark, swim for your lives. Oh my algae, said Nugget, it's Fang. <laughs> On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner. Sincerely, Fang. He wants to eat you for dinner. Holy mackerel, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fang tried everything he could think of. A tattoo, a, a tattoo of Nugget. A special delivery, you're fantastic. A song and a dance, the wild seahorses, but nothing worked. On Friday, Fang was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over, blub. He swam under, blub, blub. He swam all around, blub, blub, blub. Life was not even close to being perfect. Fang was so busy boo-hooing, 
he didn't notice a net drop down, 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 right on the mini minnows. I feel seasick. We're the catch of the day. Oh no, all the minnows are getting caught in a net. The net pulled up, up, up. Somebody help. Fang squinted. Nugget? He had to do something, but what? Fang fanned his gills. He wrung his fins and then, ping. Fang had a plan. Danger, shark sighting, big sharp teeth. Fang used his big sharp teeth to chomp. Fang's big sharp teeth chewed. Fang saved the mini minnows. All the minnows stared. I know, I know, said Fang. I'm totally too scary. Shark. Wait! Nugget swam towards Fang. There were 10 minnows, he said, and a very special shark came along. How many friends are there all together? There were only, there was only one answer. In the deep, deep ocean lived 11 friends. They swam over, glug. They swam under, glug, glug. They swam all around, glug, glug, glug. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. Okay, that is an awesome picture. <laughs> all the fish are smiling. Minnows, minnows, fangs, food chain, me. He's got vegetables. He's a vegetarian, apparently. That was a cute book. <laughs>